welcome to the discussion of isometric projections and this we are discussing now isometric projection of a composite solids here what is the given problem a cone of base diameter 50 mm and height 80 mm is resting centrally on a square prism of base side 85 mm and height 40 mm the side of the base is parallel to vp the axis of the solids coincides along a line draw the iso isometric projections of the combination here what we have to do is we have to draw first orthographic projections of the combination that is square prism on that we have cone so first we will draw top view of a square prism its side length is 85 mm that 85 mm is to be multiplied with 0.816 as we are drawing isometric projections that is the square prism base on HP that's why top view it is a square shape and he mentioned that that square prism base side is parallel to VP that's why we are taking like this then height of the square prism is 40 mm that 40 mm again to be multiplied with 0.816 as we are drawing isometric projections after that Cone top view it is a circle, front view it is a triangle. So with the given radius is how much? 25 mm. Then the 25 mm is to be multiplied with 0.816 for drawing the base of the cone as we have to draw the projections. That is we have to take iso radius. So with ISO radius as a radius, top view it is a circle. After that, we will draw projectors from the top view towards the vertical plane for drawing the image of the cone in front view. Then given axis height, height of the cone is 80 mm. That is drawing front view and top view of a cone as well as front view and top view of a square prism is completed. Here the main point here to remember is we should not take original measurements. Here we have to take ISO measurements that is the given measurements are to be multiplied with 0.816 in order to convert true measurements into ISO measurements.
after drawing the orthographic projections then we have to draw the isometric projections of the combination solid then first step is to draw isometric projection of the square prism then we will draw isometric projection of the cone so first step drawing isometric projection of the square prism as in the case of top view this is a square all four sides are parallel to the horizontal plane that means all four sides need to make an angle of 30 degrees to the ground line as a first step we have to draw ground line after drawing ground line then with 30 degrees inclination draw z axis as well as x axis after that with the compass the square side as a radius draw an arc left as well as right after that parallel to this side passing through this point then parallel to this passing through this point this is 30 degrees even this one also 30 degrees z axis and x axis this is the top view of a square then after, after drawing the top view of a square prism then with the given height of the square prism that is 40 mm that 40 mm is to be multiplied with 0.816 that 40 into 0.816 as a height we have to draw vertical lines from different four points of a square base after that from this point also then parallel to this line After that, join this diagonal and this diagonal also. That is, drawing isometric projection of a square prism is completed. Then, the cone is resting on in the square prism. Diameter of the cone is given as 50 mm so that 50 is to be multiplied with 0.816 then you will get the iso diameter that particular diameter that particular diameter to be considered for construction of the isometric projections of a cone then the circle is to be enclosed in a square say a b c d and this is p q 
Q R S one two three four. After that, the top base of a square prism, say from this corner to P as a radius, draw an arc. From this corner to Q as a radius, draw another arc. Like that, what we have to do is after that, from those points, draw lines parallel to this line and then parallel to this line passing through this point and passing through this point right say A B C D after that locating midpoints for this say 1 2 3 4 after that join B to 4 and B to 3 and then join D to 1 and D to 2 after that B as a center, B4 as a radius. Similarly, D as a center, D1 as a radius. And then name this point as 5 and this point as 6. Then 5, 4 as a radius. then 6 to as radius after drawing the isometric projection of a base of a cone on the top base of a square prism then locate the center from the center with the given axis height that is ISO 80 mm that is 80 is to be multiplied with 80 is to be multiplied with 0.816 say O join extreme point of the ellipse to the O similarly join extreme point of the isometric projection of a circle that is ellipse to the O. After that, here some lines are not visible and some lines are visible. The visible lines are drawn as a dark lines and continuous lines. Non-visible lines are drawn as a dotted lines. So, this portion of the top base of a square prism is visible even this one also visible how you say it's visible or not visible based upon the front view direction even this portion also visible
that's about the construction of isometric projection of a cone resting on square prism